Hey Luke here with catsandcarp.com and today I'm catching bluegill and white bass on a small little city pond. Here we are at Salem Lake in Utah and uh, we're gonna do a little fishing. This is a place that's really nostalgic for me and Rebecca. When we were uh, college students at BYU, we used to come down here and picnic and study and fish. There's a little bit of everything in this lake. There's carp, there's catfish, there's bass, there's panfish, there's trout. This used to be all vegetation along the shoreline and they just chopped it down, destroyed it. Which is terrible because this was great habitat right in here. Big old carp right there feeding. Yeah, I don't think I brought any carp gear. Nathan, did you fall in already? Yeah. <laughs> oh. See how we got a little freshwater spring coming out here? That water's icy cold. So that really cools down this spot here. And when it's this hot, cold water is a good spot. You got shade, cold water, some depth, good combo. I got some bites. Yeah, you got a bunch of bites. I'm getting tons of little nibbles that haven't been hooking up on this rod with the worms, which probably means bluegill. But the hook's a little bit big. So I'm thinking I might check my bait and uh, downgrade the uh, hook, make it a little bit smaller and see if that doesn't help us catch more fish. Yep, lost all of our worms. Got some number 10 eagle claws here. We're gonna switch out to that and see what's uh, see what's out there. Throw that out there and see what happens. You guys having fun though? Yeah. That's good. There's Tommy, warming up in the sun. Um, it's in this There's table. Nathan, just doing whatever Tommy does. <laughs> trout, Tom. Oh, no Come on, get it. Whoa, don't worry about it. Snag up in your wine. Oh, it is a rainbow trout! It is a rainbow trout! Okay, hold on. Rainbow Alright, hold on. Hold, keep him right there. Keep him right there. Oh, no. No. Wait a minute. No, it's not a rainbow trout. Check this out. Holy mackerel. What's a white bass doing here? I didn't even know they had these in here. No, I want the full Okay, good. Throw him back. Oh, there he goes. Oh, here's another one. Here, come here, Tom, Nathan. Oh, it. it must be a rainbow trout. It might be. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's another one. Yeah, this one's even a little bigger. There's a huge school of them down there. There's another white bass. He's off. Uh, all right, come here. Oh, here's another one. All right, Nathan, smile. Cheese. Good job. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, Nathan. Thank you. All right, buddy. Let's see. There we go. Oh, there you go. Reel him in. Yeah. He's yours. So we got this massive little school of white bass just right here offshore, every cast, just nailing them. And they'll be like that until the school moves on. Little surprise there, not too bad, but they're uh, they're actually hitting worms on the retrieve, man. They're, they're loving this. Oh, there you go, Nathan, right here, you want them? There you go, reel them in. There we go. Look at that, another right through the bottom left. There you go. There we go. Nice little bluegill. Nice little bluegill there. I want to. Another white bass. Man, these things, when you get into a school of them, they're just thick. There you go. Another nice little bass. You guys tired? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. Could you use a hamburger and some ice cream? Yeah. All right, let's go get some food, guys. Feeling better? 
Well, we got a little bit of food. We're gonna eat up, fuel up these little boys, and uh, then we're gonna try some different spots around this lake. There's a little play set and swimming hole over here. Maybe they'd, uh, you guys like would, would like to hang out over here and fish. All right, guys, come follow me. You guys like this play set? Yeah. All right, well, the boys are playing up on their play sets, and while they're doing that, I'm gonna go throw a line in here. We've got some big old common carp cruising around. Got little schools of something, I think, are white bass and a few bluegill here and there. Well, it's really clear guys and there's no structure or no snags on the bottom so i think what i'm gonna do is cast out and just creep it across the bottom see if i can't cover more distance that might help pick up something that's a fat bluegill i uh, cut a few fish here but i am getting sunburned so i'm gonna run the store pick up some sunscreen and uh we'll see what we do next All right, guys, I'm going to move around a little bit and see if I can't find some better action. But let me show you the rod and reel I'm using. Went down to Sportsman's Warehouse and got a bunch of combos. Um, all of them 20 bucks or less. This one's by South Bend. It's the Micro Light combo. And uh, had to get some line on it. Didn't come with line. And it's all right. It's, it's a decent little ultralight. It's not bad. Ooh, it's windy today. So let me show you what these people have done here. It's been a number of years since I've been at this lake. And you can see they've gone and mowed down the grass along the shoreline. So we got lots of lawn and it's ruined so much habitat. The best bass fishing and bluegill fishing is often right along these reed beds. And when you chop those beds down, it really ruins the fishing in those areas. And the overhanging trees too, those are really important. It's kind of unfortunate that this has been developed more, but is what it is. Let me show you a, a bluegill nest right here. See right there? A little cleared out spot is a bluegill nest. I can see a lot of bluegill nests right along here where the bluegill are protecting their babies. All of the nests are along the shoreline. It has reed beds and vegetation. All the stuff that's been mowed down to the water's edge doesn't have any nests. Destroy the vegetation, you destroy the spawning habitats for a lot of fish. A lot of great fish habitat goes with it. It's pushing 90 degrees, it's hot. So I'm gonna try fishing in the shade of this big tree. Man, I, if I was a fish, that's where I'd wanna be, out of this sunlight. Overhanging trees mean shade and they mean structure. There's stuff on the bottom. So uh, let's give it a go and see what we can catch. <laughs> This lake is just a little gem. It's right in the middle of the city, but about 80% of the shoreline is public access. So you have tons of places to fish. It's well stocked and not too overfished. It's just a great place. You know, I'm watching these fish take the bait and these polarized sunglasses are just worth their weight in gold right now. But I'm noticing that the fish are hitting the bait on the fall more than they are on when it's sitting on the bottom. So giving a little little bit of jiggle to your worm can really uh, can really help. Oh, there we go. That's a decent size bluegill. I mean, that's fun. Sure, hard to beat worms as bait. There we go. Another nice, nice bluegill. Too bad there's no flatheads in Utah. Could use that. Very good. You know, usually fishing at, at evening or in the morning is best because the fish are more active and out and about. And that's true for carp and catfish and, and trout, and a lot of a lot of fish. I find that bluegill are easiest to catch in the middle of the day because of this you know they, they congregate in these shady spots and you can just nail them one after another 
they get concentrated. If you're ever uh, fishing in the heat of the day and nothing's biting, man, grab an ultralight rod, some worms, find yourself a big shady tree that overhangs a deep spot, go to town. No more white bass. That school must have moved on. Well guys, it looks like I wore out my welcome here. Let's move around and see if we can find another spot. This would be a good spot for catfish too. Hey, want to catch a fish? What? Want to catch a fish? You know how to reel it? Take this thing, crank it like that. Pull it up higher there, pull them out. There you go. Daddy, I got a fish! Yeah. Bye! Alright. That is off. Well guys, there's another bluegill, but uh, it's getting late and I think the kids are done swimming, so I am going to go home and uh, call it a day. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our other YouTube channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. We took a month traveling the world, fishing and having adventures, and all those videos are in our video logs as part of the 2018 Outdoor Boys World Tour. Check those videos out. Loads of fun, loads of adventures. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching.